about cases that your family knows about, your kids know about, um, and it's emotional. Answers in a decades-old missing persons case brought to the surface as a piece of the mystery is finally uncovered. Good evening, everyone. Glad you're with us for Fox 16 News. I'm Donna Terrell. I'm Kevin Kelly. Pope County investigators believe this is the car that belonged to Samantha Hopper, a pregnant woman reported missing in 1998. Our Alexis Wainwright has more on how the car was discovered. After more than two decades of looking for answers and clues, a family is getting some type of closure tonight thanks to a group of strangers. Our subscribers, our followers, they reach out to us, they let us know about fa their family members that are missing and cases in their area. After receiving word about Samantha Hopper and her disappearance in Russellville, Arkansas, a group of volunteers decided to help. It's something that investigator Eric Riggs has been working on for quite some time. This is a 10 year case for me, so. Um, this is one of those cases that your family knows about, your kids know about, um, and it's emotional. Hopper was reported missing on September 11th, 1998. She was reported to be on the way to drop off her daughter, Courtney, before going to a concert, but never showed. Tuesday, volunteers were able to find a car matching the description of Hopper's blue Ford Tempo with human remains inside. It was found in the water near Pleasant Valley Road. About an hour into our searches, we we were successful in finding Samantha and her babies. Hopper was pregnant at the time and her young daughter was also still in the car. Honestly, it's nothing that we've done. It's just, um, I think the family just being persistent. I'm 18 month old, Courtney, daughter. Douglas Bishop is a volunteer with Adventures with Purpose, a nonprofit group who looks into missing persons and cold cases. He says they use sonar systems to find the car. There's no true words that can describe how it feels to uh, provide answers for a family that has been tortured for 23 years. The remains are at the Arkansas State Crime Lab for identification. We did reach out to the family, but we haven't heard anything back just yet. Reporting in Pope County, Alexis Wainwright, back to you.